This week, we've been reporting on the death of 14-month-old Daisy Lynn Torres. A toddler died during a dental procedure. And understandably, many parents have a lot of questions right now about this. So we've invited Dr. Chris Nadangho with Great Expressions Dental Center to help answer some of them. Good morning, Dr. Great to have you here again. Good morning, Amanda. Um, first off, we want to make clear, of course, you are with uh, Great Expressions Dental Centers, uh, not affiliated with Austin Children's Dentistry, which where is where this, this tragedy took place. And also, um, at this point, really many of us are unaware of the details in terms of what kind of anesthesia and and the um, the exact minutiae of the procedure so there is uh, some amount of speculation that we will be making here nothing yes. concrete so the investigation is still going on yes. you know you can expect a full investigation by the texas state dental board uh, the aut autopsy reports are still in the works so we mm -hmm. don't exactly know what happened um, but we know that there's different types of anesthesia used generally for children whether it's nitrous oxide. Uh, Can you break those down for me? I mean, we talk about different. I think one, um, having two young children, the mm -hmm, one that mm -hmm. I'm most familiar with is, is what we would commonly refer to as laughing, laughing gas. Laughing gas, yeah. And that seems to be a, an easy one for the children, you know. It's quickly reversible. And, yeah, I've, and seen, I've seen them, you know, go, simple, go, yeah. go in and go out immediately like this. And, for, you know, for a little bit more anxious patients, you know, there's also the oral sedation where they just take, you know, some medication and intravenous sedation. So there's, you know, generally three types used. Before we talk about um, how we can even prevent having to go to the dentist in terms of all those cavities of this child, Daisy Lynn is said to have had. It said that she had six cavities, mm -hmm. which is why this procedure got started in the first place. I just want to talk about the anesthesia and this procedure and the fears that there may be out there right now from some parents. I'm not going to take my child to the dentist, my, my little baby. Uh, A, how young should a child be when they begin going and then beyond that how young is a child during their first procedure what is typically mm -hmm. the first procedure for a boy or girl uh, it anything? could be just be yeah could be anything but I mean mostly we just see some early ch uh, childhood caries mm -hmm. just cavities early on and this is why we encourage patients to take their kids into the dentist you know as soon as the first tooth pops up because we don't want, we want to avoid ever having to use any anesthesia. Um, it's something that's commonly used, and we don't see very many complications with this as far as regarding the, the anesthesia. But the earlier you can get your children in, they get comfortable with the dentist, they develop these good habits. We educate the parents on nutrition and making sure that they avoid these kind of situations just overall. So, so you say that really any sort of procedure, is it common to to go in and try to remove, because a, a, ca a cavity is, that procedure in itself, I mean, I, I, I myself can remember, it's, it can be painful, mm -hmm, and to have mm -hmm. six cavities in your mouth, that's a lot on a young child. It is, it's a little uh, irregular to have a, you know, 14 month old mm -hmm. having six cavities and having doing the, all these restorations. Um, but like I said, I, I don't really know much about the right. exact situation as far as, as what the patient needs were, uh, what anesthesia was used in the and the whole entire right it's situation. those it's those details that mm -hmm. none of us really are, are privy to right now that kind of make us go in blind on the situation so we're not we're not asking you uh, necessarily to, to tell us what the diagnosis was because at yeah. this point none of us know but the key point being um, uh, preventative measures and don't be afraid to go to your dentist yes absolutely all right doctor thank you so much good to have you here thank you very much Amanda and we'll be right back